Hello everyone, Jekyll here, welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, a series where I need to employ the help of literal demons and undead in order to make it happen. Today we're going to kick this episode into overdrive by unleashing all the undead monstrosities on the world. Before we start though, remember to like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of content. We're close-ish to reaching 1000 subscribers and about 80% of you all aren't even subscribed. There's something really special planned, so I'm not going to spell the beans, not yet anyway, so without Without further ado, let's do something cool with the Mayakashi engine. Mayakashi is an archetype of zombie monsters released in Hidden Summoners all the way in November 2018. The archetype's main focus is on synchro climbing with odd level synchro monsters using a loop. Due to that, the engine was used as a way to trigger soul absorbing bone tower which didn't give the deck any competitive success. Not much can be said about the history of the Mayakashi engine. It wasn't competitively viable, as I mentioned, and even in its premiere set, it was outshined by other archetypes introduced, mostly prank kits, which saw competitive success in the TCG, and Shiranui, which was viable in Duel Links for a while. However, if you want to learn more about Mayakashi, up top you'll find the entire archetype explained. But now, let's get to the engine part of the video. When it comes to the card that create the engine, it's very small on the main deck side, but the extra is a kind of a different story. Due to that, I'll mention all the main deck cards and two extra deck ones that I think are important. So let's get on it, starting with the card that gets the engine going. Hajun is a very interesting little fella. All he does is summon another Mayakashi out of the deck, but that's all the engine needs to get going. Easily accessible due to being a level 1, he's the most important normal summon, if you decide to use the engine of course. This lovable Kitsune will come back from the graveyard every single time you summon a Mayakashi from the extra deck. This includes when she's used as a material. You can say that she's not going to fall for long, but when you've lived as long as she did, maybe some rest is needed, who knows. This is the newest piece of Mayakashi support, straight from Magnificent Mavens. People were molding over it when it was announced, thinking it would allow Mayakashi to take place in the competitive landscape. However, despite its rather powerful effect, the card didn't make the expected impact. Still, it's another card that can be freely used as part of the engine. This is one of the extra deck monsters I wanted to mention. Its effect to negate an opponent's monster effect can come up at times, but what's really important is the second effect. That's due to all Mayakashi synchros having an effect that triggers when summoned from the graveyard, which provides an additional form of disruption during the opponent's turn. This is the monster summoned at the end of the loop. It provides negation for monster effects on the field, graveyard, and in the banished zone. With its power, you can give the opponent a serious frostbite. When it comes to the engine, it's rather simple really. You need triple Hajun and one Daki in the main deck. Some people don't like using Ghost Meets Girl, a masterful Mayakashi Shiranui saga, but if you would like to play it anyway, three copies would be the amount you're looking for. The extra deck is made out of one copy of each Mayakashi monster. The engine consistency might be boosted with the use of Mayakashi Return, which can, once per turn, search a Mayakashi card, meaning it can give you access to the engine if you don't have it already, or to Ghost Meets Girl, should the engine pieces be in place. The engine is really good when it comes to providing a rather big body on the board, not to mention the disruption via monster effects and one very strong trap which basically stops the opponent from playing the game. The engine's biggest issue stems from the fact that it locks the user into something only Mayakashi monsters from the extra deck. To be perfectly honest, I would use this engine in control decks that lack any offensive push, especially if those are zombie focused. The price for the entire engine, extra deck included, is about $43, which is much more than I think it's actually worth. The price is so high due to 6 cards not being reprinted and 5 of them being secret rares from hidden summoners. With this we're wrapping another episode, now tell me, will you be able to sleep at night with all those yokai running about? I have no idea where I started rhyming. I guess my scripts need more refining. This rhyming really need to cease. I'll catch you next time. Peace.